All right, hello guys. This is Linus Ikech Victor from Nigeria. Uh, this video is to show you how to tether your Android phone to browse with your laptop using Simple Server. Okay, so just follow my steps, and I'm sure you get this done. Many of you guys have been asking questions, and just feel that this video answers your question. So the first step you're gonna uh, follow is to download simple server on your computer okay actually guys I'm not online so I'll try to keep this simple easy and short to show you guys how to start a simple server and browse with the computer with your Android phone you have to tether your Android phone's hotspot with your computer okay only show you how to do the first step in the computer right now but if you just connect your hotspot with your computer I promise you this is gonna work this is pretty cool alright so to do that and download simple server on your computer and you must make sure you also have Mozilla Firefox this is a web browser we're gonna be using for the browser because it makes it the configuration very simple and short if you have Google Chrome Google Chrome doesn't, it's hard to configure, it's okay, so it's better you just download Mozilla Firefox and use it for the browser. So, the first step we're gonna take is download simple server from Google, go to google.com, type download simple server for Windows 7 or Windows 8, you know, better make up your computer, okay? Do that, and you're gonna download something like this. When you have this, open up your Mozilla Firefox go to settings okay options uh, okay go to advanced and we're gonna see con uh, under network click on settings okay this comes up as you can see it's using no proxy so what we're about to do is we want to tell a computer to use the proxy which we're gonna give it so click on manual proxy configuration HTTP proxy, type in 127.0.0.1, okay, for the port, it's 8080, 8080, okay, make sure this is checked, make sure this is checked, and that's pretty much it for the web browser, click on OK, alright, so when you've done that, now let's go to our control panel, Okay, we're gonna also uh, because we're using Wi-Fi, we have to tell our computer that we need it to use the proxy, which we're gonna give it. So click on Internet Options. This is pretty cool, guys. Okay, you have to try it out. It's very simple and short process. Okay, you're gonna have to see this L E N Learn Settings. Okay. I remember because this is Wi-Fi stuff that's what we're changing this if you're using a modem I guess you just have to change one of this so click on it uh, it's using automatically dictated settings just uncheck that and click on proxy server all right now you remember the same address you used 127.0.0.1 port is 80 zero to that click on advanced okay make sure this box is checked click on ok make sure this one is also checked ok it and ok this one too close it up all right now let's go to a simple server and configure it run here uh now we run a simple server to see how it works give it some time you have to see the ready command before you know that it's up and running okay so here we go we're seeing the ready command so it means it's okay now if yours doesn't have this posy host 10.199.212.2 and here to inject query web dot blackberry.com 
remember in your phone the simple server disk is the ingest query you're using so it has to be the same with your laptop okay so to configure this close it up go to simple server configuration settings it comes with the software and you download it from google just make sure you download the real version because many fake simple server software is out there all right so here you have the cozy host p host actually that's me some have cozy host some have p host so just make sure it's 10.199 and the others local hosts your local host should be the same this okay so your cozy pods 8080 and your inject query do the same inject query that you're using on your phone so just make sure that it's the same on your laptop okay so have custom header your custom header one should be host and I think that's the only thing you need to do here you save it close it up start your simple server it does if you make any changes okay so let's start it up again just for it to run perfectly well and it should be up right now Sorry. Okay, so it should be running well now. So just make sure that you've already connected your Android phone, which your hotspot you should be seeing it right here. Just connect it and run the simple server. Go to your browser, open your website, and it's gonna be running well. Actually, guys, I'm not online, so. Sorry, I can't show you this myself. I'm out of data, and right now I don't have any cash on me to go <laughs> buy one. So just copy me. Uh, it's gonna open. Sorry, no data. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button. And bye. Thanks for watching.